Hello Ten Elective History. This video is for both Ten Elective History 2, uh, they've got their lesson on the 18th of August, and Ten Elective History 1 with the lesson on the 20th of August. So the content and activities are the same. Okay, so step one is to view the short explanatory video, which you're doing right now, so thank you for that. Step two, you're going to use the video clip, short video clip introducing Ernest Titterton, source A, and the information provided in Frank Walker's prologue, source B, he looked at that yesterday, to make notes relevant to Ernest Titterton's values or beliefs. In other words, what do we learn about his values? In order to understand his values, think about whether he prioritised scientific testing over human life or human life over scientific testing. What does prioritisation mean? It means what did he think was most important. So let's consider two aspects of the scientific testing. First of all, Ernest Titterton and his team tested nuclear bombs in Australia. Did they realise how dangerous that was? Did they realise that there would be a level of contamination that was in some cases deadly to human life? Well, I think they did because as we've previously discussed, Ernest Titterton was involved in the development of the bomb that was dropped over Hiroshima and Nagasaki um, in World War II. So they knew, he knew very well, as did the other scientists, about that catastrophic effect, or the catastrophic effects. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got the focus in the prologue, or one of the things that's focused on, is the way that the scientists tested after the bombing, after the testing of the bombs, they then tested how badly life forms, including human life forms, were affected by the nuclear testing because they actually knew that human beings would be affected. It was a matter of how badly they would be affected. So, Think about whether either of those sources suggest that Titterton and his team knew that human life would be affected by the nuclear testing. Okay, then, this is where all the note taking and thinking is leading to, you'll be using these notes to write a paragraph that responds to the question, how do sources A and B help to build understanding of Ernest Titterton's values in relation to nuclear testing in Australia. In your answer, you must make reference to both sources, source A and source B. If helpful, girls, you may use this topic sentence. Both sources A and B suggest that Titterton cared more about obtaining scientific information than he did about the impact of that scientific testing on human lives. Submit your work in the assignment box headed the 18th of August, etc., etc., depending on what class you're in and when you're going to be doing that work. Okay, we've got the video clip here, which you will view, and we've got the prologue. Okay, before we conclude, Let's just look at this section and make a connection between what we are reading and Titterton's values. Okay, the scientific testing. So the scientists were going to test the amount of fallout that the nine atomic bombs had caused in Australia by collecting soil samples as a first step. So they understand that they, they know that there has been fallout girls. They know that there has been a human impact. Second, they're going to test vegetation. And thirdly, they're going to test 
dairy cow's milk. Then, okay, they're testing animal samples to see how the fallout is affecting a growing being, a life, and they also want to test human beings, and they're going to do it through testing deceased babies. They figure that, okay, milk's going to be contaminated to a degree, and the biggest consumers of milk are babies, infants, and young children. Milk was handed out free at Australian schools. If the scientists got bones from babies and Aussie kids, they'd quickly and efficiently know how much fallout was getting into the food chain. So girls, not whether any fallout was getting into the food chain, but how much. So this testing is founded on the acknowledgement that the food chain, the human food chain is being contaminated. None of the scientists questioned what they're about to embark on. Now, in terms of deceased humans, they are focused on dead babies. And these babies would be, or the bones, the leg bones of these babies would be tested, removed in part and tested without consulting with families. Workers, so the science, scientists concerned that the number of dead baby bones that they could get would be low proved to be unfounded. They underestimated the enthusiasm of pathologists, morticians and autopsy attendants for a quick buck. Basically, this is telling us that these workers were basically bribed by the government or by this particular government agency in charge of the testing to provide bones. The families were not to be asked for permission. So there's quite a bit to think about here, girls, in terms of values coming back to the question. Okay, did Ernest Titterton and his team, but you know, he took leadership of the team, prioritised scientific testing over human life or human life over scientific testing. Uh, there's enough time to do the work. I would like it to, in, in one lesson, I would like it to be submitted very promptly, girls. The clip is very short. You've looked at the prologue. Uh, you've got some pointers here. Just give it your best shot and submit and I will certainly give you feedback. So thanks so much for your cooperation.